number one, Fort Crumpet. The reason why this is a good place to land in Fortnite is because of all the chests. And by being a lot of chests means a lot of loot for you to be able to use. Here is some gameplay of me landing at Fort Crumpet to show you what loot you can get. Fort Crumpet is good for shields, as there are shields and a slurp truck just round the corner. This is a reason why Fort Crumpet is number one on this list. By landing here, you'll have lots of loot, lots of shield, and also quite a bit of health. This gameplay is showing you where Fort Crumpet's loot is, and also where you land when you go there. Sometimes there are a lot of people landing at Fort Crumpet, but this chest, you can mostly get assault rifles or grenades or even shields. If you don't get an assault rifle there, there's always other places to get one. Shotguns are quite good, as you can do deal damage to opponents close up. For long range, use assault rifles or heavy snipers, as the heavy sniper is the only sniper left in the game now, because they removed all the other ones. If you can, try and use a blue pump, or a purple pump, or a gold pump, as they do 200 damage to the head. By doing 200 damage to the head, you pretty much kill someone in one shot. This is another reason why you should land at Fort Crumpet. There are many other reasons to land at Fort Crumpet. For example, there are lots of chests, ammo, and lots of materials for you to be able to collect. Some chests are hidden, so you may have to do a bit of exploring to find them. Also, if you land at Fort Crumpet, make sure to be able to loot all the chests and ammo. Mine most of the things that are able to be mined, because you will get over 100 materials of each. By doing this, you are guaranteed to be able to kill more people than what you'll probably be able to do with only 30 of each material. Also, make sure you collect any ammo and grenades and any shotguns you can. By doing this, you'll be able to kill more people. For example, this chest underneath here has been hidden by Epic Games to make you have to explore to be able to find it. Bear in mind that it is underneath a gun, and if you get the gun, you get more materials. Just down here, where I'm going now, is a boat. If you use the boat, you can go to su places such as the Shark or Lockie's Lighthouse, which give you um, lots of other guns. In that bush that I just mined, there is also an XP coin which you can collect, as I just did. By collecting the XP coin, you'll get more levels, and you'll reach tier 100 a lot quicker. There are many different types of XP coins. For example, there is a green one, a blue one, and a purple one. The purple one spreads little ones, which are also known as the green ones, around, and if you collect all of them, you'll get over a thousand XP for collecting them. I will show you this later on in the video, as if you keep watching, you'll see more places where you're able to land in Fortnite Battle Royale to maybe get wins. Enjoy this. As you can see, I am using the boat of which was just down the hill from Fort Crumpet. I am going to head to the shark and kill Sky to get her assault rifle and grappler. But bearing in mind that she has them, you might have to be careful because the assault rifle shoots quicker than a normal assault rifle, such as the gold, scar, or the green assault rifle. Please bear in mind this when going to the shark. Make sure you have a shotgun, an SMG, or grenades, which can do deal damage to her quicker than what normal guns can. Number 2. Compact cars. Compact cars is a good place to drop due to all the metal of which you can get here. By landing at compact cars, not many people come here, and also Frenzy Farm and a Shadow Safe House is just round the corner. There are three chests at compact cars, but if you go to the Shadow Safe House, there are another two which you can collect. Heavy snipers can come from the chests at the Shadow Hip Safe House. And Frenzy Farm is normally populated with people for you to be able to get kills. Land up compact cars 
if you're doing scrim lobbies or in something where you're needing to, such as a battle royale, winter royale, or an arena game. Compact cars is good for duos as well. By collecting all the metal from compact cars, you're more likely to be able to get kills on people. There are chests on the outside of compact cars, such as the one which you'll see in a second. The one that I'm now running to, with the square car. If you mine the car, you'll get around 36 metal. But by going to compact cars, you'll get more metal as well. You can fish with these uh, new grenades that they added. Of, you can see this now. There is a chest under the bridge, which I'll show you in a second. But be careful, people may come here as well. This chest that is in here, bearing in mind that it's inside of a home, you may get an assault rifle or a shotgun. There is an ammo crate as well, make sure you get that because it could always come in handy. The chest of which I'm now running to, if you place a cone underneath it, you only use 10 materials rather than 20 like I did. By doing that, you will not waste as many materials and you're able to save them from killing people. By running to the bridge, the green steel bridge which you can see in the background, there's a chest and an ammo box which you can collect. I didn't collect them this time because I totally forgot. But the chest is just underneath one of the supports and the ammo box is just in the bathtub which you can see when I zoom in onto it. By zooming in on the on the ammo box, people may see you. Please be careful not to get shot in the back. As you can see, I randomly grenaded but didn't hit anything. Sometimes you can get lucky if you throw grenades. I will shoot this henchman to show you what you can do. Please be careful when you're at the safe house. You have to go through a porta potty, which is in the back west in corner. If you go through there, you'll be able to go underneath the ground and kill the henchmen, of which are sitting under there. Sometimes people will come up to you whilst you're here. As you can see, you can see the feet of the henchmen, but they're actually underneath you. So please be careful. Just watch this, the rest of this video and you may see new places that you've never heard of before which you can drop to get loot and to kill people. Enjoy. As you can see, the shadow safe house which I landed at is Alpha. There are two which I know of, Alpha and also there is Beta, which I think is over by Mr Meadows. You can go to Mr. Meadows for loot, which it, this that isn't part of this video, but it's a good place for loot. If you want to drop there, you have to drop early enough to be able to land either at the clock tower or at the, the disco place just above. By carrying henchmen, you're able to open henchmen on the chests. Also, if you'd like to be a part of my clan, please request it in the comments below, as I am the leader. By requesting, you may be accepted into the clan. By joining our clan, you'll be able to play scrim lobbies with other people in our clan, and is and you are able to get more recognition, and are able to be able to help us make YouTube videos. This is only a clan members. I have a Discord which I'll make for our clan only. Please request it in the comments if you'd like to join. Uh, I'll put the Discord link in the description below. Please request if you'd like to join. Remember, only in the comments. Don't message me on Instagram or Snapchat because you will not be allowed in. This is the only way to get in is by requesting on this video. The way that you'll get in is you'll have to do a 1v1 or get a solo squad win with more than 10 kills. By doing this, You'll be part. You'll be accepted into our clan, and we'll be able to help us with YouTube videos and play with other people in our clan. Remember, this is the only video you'll be able to get in on. Number three, containers. 
At containers, you are able to kill people, and also, there are two chests and lots of ammo. There is a boat just round the corner, of which you can get to the shark to be able to kill people at the shark. Hope you enjoyed this next bit. Make sure you drop it early to get to containers. If you don't, then you won't be able to make it. By not making it, you may have to land at one of the other places, of which will be shown in this video. There is a house just on the cliff next to the containers, of which you are able to get to. Also, there is a slope truck, which if you use the slope truck, you'll be able to kill and get shields. By getting shields, you'll be more likely to be able to survive longer in a game. If you don't have shields, you'll probably die after about 5 or 6 minutes of being in the game. Remember, use shield. As you can see, this is another place where you can get lots of metal by mining all the containers. If you mine all the containers, you're more likely to get more metal, which means you're more likely to be able to kill people. Materials are important in Fortnite. If you don't have many materials, then you'll be less likely to kill people. Because obviously, building is a big part. To practice building, go into creative, as I'll show you in the next video. Enjoy the rest of this. As you can see, I have found grenades, a pistol, a blue SMG, a green SMG, and some mini shields. Sometimes you find a lot of wood here as well. Also there is a cardboard box of which you can hide into if you're thinking of going to the shadow safe house. You wondering why I picked up the grey assault rifle rather than the green pistol? Easy reason. The green pistol is terrible. Never pick it up. Always stick with an assault rifle. The assault rifle will do more damage and deal more damage to opponents and able to kill them. I don't know why, but this boat glitched and <laughs> it made me face the wrong way. But, obviously, as you can see, I was able to turn round and go for the slope truck, which I'll get full health and full shield. If you're wondering why I didn't use the mini shields, the only reason why was because I knew there was a slope truck of which I could use to get more health. By using the slope truck, I'm able to kill more people, as I told you before, because slope trucks and any sort of health are very important. As you can see, I'm heading to the new hou the modern house, of which is just on the cliff. And if you look closely, you can see a purple XP coin. Oh, and did you see how I shot that guy really good? Well, there'll be a video showing you my settings, of which I use in Fortnite Battle Royale. There's an easy way of getting that purple XP coin. Build a platform around 10 by 10 or 9 by 9. By doing this, you'll be able to collect all the XP that comes from the XP coin. By doing that, you're able to kill more people and are able to find more people of which will be wanting your XP. I know you can't take XP from each player, but they'll be trying to do a challenge, which I remember there is a challenge over by that house. The house is a place where you want to be careful at because sometimes people land there. There is a slight bug where you can make a floating base just at the house. By landing at this house, you may get kills or you may be killed yourself. Be careful. Always remember, use the slip truck. As you can see, the big XP coins split into mini ones, which gives you about as much XP as what you'd get from opening a green one. But you get around 8 or 9 of them, which gives you 8 or 9 times what you'd find in a green one. Please remember, try and get all the XP coins you can. It can really help you to ha get higher to your levels in your Fortnite gameplay, and you may be able to make videos just like me one day. As you can see, this is the floating thing which I found. 
I don't know why, but it happened. I was wondering, why has Epic left this in the game? They normally fix this sort of thing. Like, Musilk did one once in the old Battle Royale. Um, back when it was the only season, I think it was season 4 he did it. Epic... Number four, Camp Cod. As you can see, in this next game, I will show you what Camp Cod holds. There is a house, um, a factory, and just my random chests sitting around everywhere. By landing at Camp Cod, you are able to get guns, materials, and even sometimes launch pads, as airdrops land here very often. It's a Camp Cod is a good place to land if you don't make it to Misty Meadows or overshoot the Disco place just above Mis Misty Meadows. Misty Meadows is good for landing, so is Camp Cod. Camp Cod has a lot of materials such as wood and brick. There is less metal at Camp Cod due to its um, high place where people would like to land. Camp Cod is high for people landing here because of all the wood and brick. As brick on the new season two, the new chapter two season two map is very rare. Me not many people land to Camp Cod. People land here in scrim games because of all the wood and brick that you can get. But during scrims, you kind of want a lot of metal because if you have a lot of metal, you're more likely to be able to kill people. By killing people, you'll get achievements and maybe even XP. But try and assist your partner killing them. As you'll get a hundred and some, I think it's 165 XP per kill that you and your partner share. By sharing kills with your partner, you can kill more people uh, and are able to kill more people and try and beat your kill record, which I bet is around 20. That's about what most people's are these days. Even the default skins land here. By default landing here. They are able to kill more people. By killing people, defaults think that they're doing really well. But if you find a default just running around with no gun, make sure to kill them as they may be carrying a lot of materials. As I've told you before, materials are very important because you could have to build battle someone or any random at any random point during Fortnite Battle Royale. Build battling is where you have to build to kill someone. Don't go too high though, because a third party might come up and may shoot you down to kill you. Make sure you've got good guns such as a purple pump or a blue pump or a gold pump as they do 200 damage to the head. Enjoy the rest of this video. As you could probably see, mats and ammo and maybe even chests here at this one spot in Fortnite Battle Royale are quite easy to find. By having lots of chests and old memorabilia from the old map, you are able to loot and find more and more and more things that used to be in the old map. For example, the clock in front of us is from Tilted Towers when it was before it was destroyed by the asteroid. Tilted Towers was one of my favourite spots to drop in Fortnite because lots of people would drop there and you could kill more and more people every time you went. But when I first started to play controller from keyboard and mouse, I died a lot. But I'm trying to play a bit of both now. As you can see, many houses are here, such as the one which I'm running to, which is for sale for some reason. I'm not sure who would buy this house because I know I wouldn't. Because, look at it, it's it's in a state. Obviously, I don't know where all the chests are at these houses. And so, I am having to destroy it to be able to find them. Hope you enjoy the rest of this video.
As you can see, I have a lot of good guns. For example, I have grenades, of which I am using to destroy this house. By destroying the house, it is making my life easier to find all the chests. Obviously, if you mined all the, the chests and mined all the walls, your looting would be a lot easier. Because you'd be fully able to find all the chests and you'd have a lot, good, lot of good materials to be able to kill people with. As I said before, sometimes you have to build battle. Build battling is where you and a teammate, well not you and a teammate, but you and, well, if you're playing duos, you and a teammate, have to battle a person of which is an enemy, which you have to try and kill. Obviously, this is very difficult to do, especially if you're, if you're in, so if you're solo squadding. Solo squads is very difficult. Because you're against four other, t you're against four people at once. By being against four people at once, sometimes you may die. But due to solo squads, more and more people are getting better at this game. So just be warned: you may come against very good people that know what they're doing during in Fortnite Battle Royale. If you want to get better, start off by playing public matches and not lobbies such as arena get good and then play arena arena is very difficult i will be posting some videos of me trying to get to champions league on arena these videos could take up to 15 to 20 minutes but i'll have to edit every single one of them so please be warned it might not be three four three or four weeks enjoy and listen to everything I say to get good at Fortnite Battle Royale. As you can see, I don't mind dying in storm to show you what what loot you can get from this one place in Fortnite. Fortnite is a very good game that came out in 2018 or 2017, I'm not entirely sure. But there has been 12 seasons now, and 12 seasons is a lot. More, more and more people are more likely to play Fortnite in the next couple of weeks because of the new season. The battle pass is worth buying because you can get lots of good skins of which are given to you for free. Number 5. The Orchard. The Orchard is a good place to go if you miss your drop for Frenzy Farm or if you want to go to Frenzy Farm after. The Orchard has lots of good loot but also be warned sometimes not very good loot but the orchard is quite far quite a fair way out but sometimes zone lands with you hopefully you don't mind but sometimes zone doesn't go your way zone can spawn anywhere and everywhere the orchard isn't always a good place to go but most of the time if you can land at the orchard you're all good but also, just remember, it depends on who you are and how you play the game and where you'd like to land. This is in the last spot because it's got the least amount of chests and it's not as good as, say, the place which I showed you 10 minutes ago. Such as the crates or the containers or however you would like to say it. Containers have a lot of good loot. For example, you're able to find different sorts of loot. Bearing in mind that I'm saying containers is better than the orchard. The orchard is good because you are able to find stuff like apples and mushrooms on the ground which allow you to get shield and health. Health and shield are important because say if you're in a battle and you were at 82 HP and you took one apple, you'd take yourself up to 92. 
By doing this, you are able to find more and more people to get more and more kills and maybe even break your kill record. Breaking your kill record is quite the achievement. I still haven't beaten mine of 25 kills. I'm trying to, every now and then, to play with my friends and beat our kill record of 64 and a half kills. <laughs> because a, a guy from a different team took half of our kills, so we were like, oh, that's still ours. By doing this, me and my mates are trying to get more and more people to join our clan. Remember, like I said before, if you want to join, just put your epic name in the comments below and tell us. Because you may get lucky and you may get requested to join. Just remember, don't expect it because you might not. Also, remember to make sure you've got enough building materials to be able to build as high as possible when in a build fight. High ground is better than low ground. If you've got low ground, you're more likely to die. High ground, you're less likely to die because of how high up you are. By being high up, less people are able to hit you. And by less people being able to hit you, the more people you are able to kill. Kills are important. If you don't have many kills, not many people will play with you. But by doing more kills, more people want to play with you. And by more kills, the more materials and the more guns you'll get. Because you can upgrade your guns from, say, a grey assault rifle to, say, a blue assault rifle rather than the grey one. If you can, remember, try and get a sniper or an assault rifle for long range kills. Long range kills normally happen around the late game when the zone is about two or three point of interest wide. Every point of interest takes up around two or three squares on the map. Remember, keep safe, enjoy Fortnite, and keep your kills going. In the next 10 minutes, you'll see some gameplay of me landing at the orchard and getting a few kills. I'm not the best at this game, but I do try, and I try to make good content for everyone that watches. By making good content, more people will feel like I'm quite a good YouTuber and will subscribe. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the like button and share with your friends or put me on your social medias to then make me get more subscribers. Thanks very much for watching all my YouTube videos. Hope you enjoy them. Keep watching them. More and more will come out every day. By more and more videos coming out, more people will feel like that I'm good, you good enough YouTuber to watch. And by being a good YouTuber, I feel that people such as yourselves will want to watch me for longer every day. And by you wanting to watch me for longer every day, I will have to post more videos to meet your to meet your standards. By meeting your standards, I need to find new games, new videos, and new Fortnite ideas. If you have any, please leave them in the comments. Give me challenges or anything. I might make the first chess challenge. That would be quite fun. Or maybe I'll do random duos or random squads with my friends. That would be fun and awesome too. I think you guys would enjoy random squads. Because me and my mate can go in and we can find random young kids most of the time because that's what mostly play Fortnite nowadays. But like maybe some of you guys might meet me in the game. Which that would be awesome because you could tell me all about how you like my videos and what I could change to make them better. And by doing that, you may make my YouTube channel become better than what it ever has been before. Enjoy the next seven minutes of this Fortnite clip of which I was doing quite well in a game of Battle Royale. I will play some non-copyrighted music for you to listen to whilst I'm just showing you what I've done. Enjoy.